Jude 1 and uh, 4. For there are certain men crept in uh, unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation ungodly men turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord Yahweh and our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Shalom, this is your brother Mathazal. Grab. We're going to get into a quick lesson here. Before we open up, we're going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to all you Akim out there that's pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. All right. Let's go ahead and get back into this. This is Jude 1 and 4. He says, For there it slack you, for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men, turning the grace of our power into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord, Yahweh, and our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Yeah, you got some men, you know, they're not sincere. You know, they really only come to this truth, man, to, uh, you know, uh, to uh, uh, to be a part of something. You got some guys who come in here to be a part of something. And then you got some guys that come into the truth, you know, uh, for uh, gain, you yeah. know, for money, you know, or to, uh, or, or to get uh, pleasures from women. You know, they're not, they're really not into the, they're not really into this to serve the Lord, man. They don't climb the calls. Or they could be in there because they woman made them mad or something. God, yeah. So they come to the truth just to curse curse her out. Or curse Esau out. Right, kind of. Yeah. Because they probably got problems with women. Yeah. You know, so so that might be the reason why they came in this. You know, there's only a few that's called and uh it's like many are called, but few are chosen. You know, the Lord and the Lord knows who knows who his is, man. As a matter of fact, uh you got something elder? Mm-mm. -mm. I'm going to grab this real quick. Uh, uh, Book of uh, John. I'm going to start at 10 and I'm going to start at 1. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is as a thief and a robber. Right. So if, you, if you're trying to come in this thing, you know, some other kind of way, you know, uh, uh, you are counted as a thief and a robber. You got to go, come in through the front door, man, which would be the, the uh, uh, matter of fact, I'll get that real quick. It's in the book of uh, Matthews. It's Matthews uh, 7 and 13. It says, enter ye in at the straight gate, and, and that straight gate is uh, uh, basically not just talking about like a straight gate, literally. That straight is talking about um, difficulties. You got to come in this thing, you know, and, and suffer. You're going to suffer coming through the gate, the straight gate, man. This is not, uh, the, uh, salvation is something you got to work for, man. You know, it, it's something you got to earn. It's not something that's just going to be given to you, you know, just, just because you're an Israelite. Just because you're an Israelite don't mean you're going to get into the kingdom of heaven, man. You got to be willing to forsake the world yep. and, and the wickedness that's, that's of the world, man. Mm -hmm. And that's, include, that's including like your uh, family or, or your, your woman, you know, your children, man. You know, even even your job, you know. You got to forsake certain things, man. Those, those things that, that are of this world, man. And that's, that's part of going through them straights, going through that straight gate, man. You know, forsaking that. For for your how about Shimia was shot, man. Okay? You have to really believe too. That's right. You got people you got certain people in the truth. They really don't believe. Alright. Yeah, you got guys, you know, don't, don't count up the costs. Yep. You know? They just come in because oh it sounds good. Or they get a free chicken meal or something. Kind. Yep. Well, oh man, they got man, they be eating chicken, they be getting yum yum. You know, it's not about that, man. It's, it's all about really being in the truth is about growing and, uh, you know, uh, becoming a better man and, uh, uh, 
be, being a good servant, man, to your how about Shem Yahweh Shai and to your Akim, you know, it's, a, it's really about, you know, shedding off the old man, man, and putting on the new man and being being better, a better man than you ever been. You know, and and and, and part of that that the suffering process is that you going through the fire. You know, that's the Lord purifying you. You know, from this world, man, we going we going have we got to get purified, man. Yeah. You know, to get all of this wickedness off of us, man. I guess what two thirds of you that don't want to hate, don't want to take heed, you only get purified through Jacob's trouble and that nuclear missile. That's right. Bathing that nuclear fire. One way or another, all Israel gonna get purified. Either, either you're gonna get go through the hell now or go through the hell when all hell break loose. That's right. That's right. So, one way or another, you're gonna be purified. Kind. Verse 13, I'm reading it again. He says, In the ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the is the gate, and broad is the way. That lead it to cap, it's like that lead it to destruction, and, and, and many there be which go in thereat, and that's talking about uh, all of these people of the world, man. Yep, that's the broad way. The broad way, two the, thirds, man. The universal way. Yep, kind. You know, you know, that's how you know we got the truth, because only a few people really believe in this in this wisdom, now and understanding. That's right. Yeah, how about Shimmy out chat? That's how you know it's the truth. Because stuff, you know, think that's not the truth. But joy the people follow. That's right. All right. That's right. And and this is verse 14. He says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way. And, and, and straight is the gate, man. Hey, you got to go through those difficulties, man. Because you got to get purged. You know, you got to get purged from the wickedness of the world, man. So you're going to have to go through the fire, man. Yep. Okay. He said, because straight is the, is the gate and narrow is the way which lead it into the life, which lead it into life and few there be that find it. It's only going to be a few that find it, man. Mm -hmm. That's how you know that Christianity is a lie. You know, that's 2.2 .2 billion Christians in the church, man. Mm -hmm. You know. You think they found the truth? No. You think they went through the uh, the straight? No, they haven't, man. They have not went through the straight gate, man. They, they 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 they're not going through difficulties, man. You know, hey, these people really, truly, their 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 belly is their god, man. Mm -hmm. You know, all, all of these Christians, man, in these churches, man, their belly is their god, man. You know, they made a pat, a pat with Satan, man. Yep. You know, these people ain't 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 true 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 to the Lord. What did the Lord say? Uh. He said, even though they uh, uh they uh lips honor me, he said, but they heart is far from me. Matter of fact, I'll get that real quick. Yeah. You got something to say, Elder? Oh no, go ahead, you got it, bro. This is uh um so like, uh Matthews 15 and 8. He said, uh this is a Matthew 15 and 8. He said, This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. And, that, and when he's talking about their heart, meaning their minds, because they don't really consider the words of the, the, the Most High and, 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 uh, 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 and of the Son of the Most High. They don't consider, you know, on a day-to-day -day basic life, man. They go to church on Sunday, and then that's all it is. After that, it's back in the world doing whatever the hell they want to do. And that also <laughs> includes the ones that so-called in the truth. Con, con. Not yep. taking this thing seriously. That's man. right. You know, as you just read, that was the first script you read, crept the underwears, man. That's right. You got guys, you know, and they came, you know, they uh they not taking this truth serious. They ain't counting the cost. They not counting up the cost. You know, and, so so when that persecution come, they gonna easily fall forward, man. They gonna yep, kind. Because they still in their flesh. Mm -hmm. You know? They not built up in the spirit and power of how about Shimia was shy, man, because they they do honor the Lord. You know what I'm saying? With their lips also. Y'all about shit me out with shot. Con, call on y'all about shit me out with shot. Yeah, uh, Shalom. Yeah, brother. But at the same time, man, he not being sincere, man, about this, man. You know? He he in the world still, man. You're not, you're not, you're not fooling nobody, man. 
You're only fooling yourself. And most eyes, eyes ten thousand more time more bright than the sun. Who you think his eyes are? The angels. The angels <laughs> watching you twenty four seven, man. That's right. All right, and they going back reporting to you how to 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 the Lord, man. You know, so you ain't fooling nobody. You think you're getting away with something because you might be fooling man. Like you say, you're only fooling yourself because the most I see what you're doing. Matter of fact, you got this, you thinking like Esau. Huh. That's how Esau eat them think. That's right. You know, your scriptures say, well, warn to them that seek deep, deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. Esau think he hide from the Lord. And you got the same, you got the same mindset as your daddy Esau eat them, man. That's right. All right. Well, okay. So you go ahead. Uh, verse nine. He says, "But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men." And you got guys out here like that too. You know what I'm saying? They just could. They just teaching from the commandments of men and not teaching from from the word of the heavenly Father. You got guys out here leaning on their own understanding. Mm -hmm. You know, and not having the full understanding, man, of your how about Shimmy I was shy and of this truth, man, and how the way it's supposed to be, man. Mm -hmm. You know, this 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 is a selfless thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh being in the truth is about being selfless. You know, it's about making sacrifices. It's not about making excuses. It's about learning, you know, it's about, you know, um uh, growing. Learning from your mistakes, because you're going to make mistakes in the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's all about being real. Being real in this thing, man. You know? Hey, the scriptures say that uh, a righteous man uh, falls seven, several times, and then he get back up, man. Yep. He gets back up and, and keep moving forward. You know? That's what this truth is all about, man. Hey, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to learn from mistakes. You're going to grow. You know, you ain't supposed to be weak. And then, you know, hey, man, I ain't no man, Lord. And, you know, and just give up, man. That's the wrong spirit to be in. Uh, I got another one. Uh, yeah, that's actually a fine excuse, too. You know, the, uh, looking for a way out, pretty much. Kind. Yeah, most I set up, you, you have to fight, man. What are you looking for, brother? I'm looking for that one scripture where the Lord said when he came to the uh to the uh wedding. Oh yeah, uh I believe it's twenty two. Let me see. Is it Matthew twenty two? Uh, I believe so. <laughs> we say uh where's your garment pretty much? Yeah, kind kind. He was like, where's your garment at? Let's see. Yeah, Khan, I think it is in 22. Khan, mm. Khan. Let me just type it in and get to it quicker. Yeah, it is a point too. Yeah, cause I pulled it up. And when the king came to see the guests, he saw that man which had not on a wedding garment. Where's it at? Uh, 22 and. It's not at 1. I was reading the 11th verse. But, um, yeah. Oh, 11th verse? Yeah, but um, yeah, it is. Yeah, do start from. Uh, In fact, I'll just start from yeah, 1 and read on down. This is uh, Matthew's 22, verse 1. We're going to. Close up at this because we got to go to camp. He says, And Yahweh Shah answered and spake unto them again my parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like which is unto, slaki, which unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding. And that word bidden, it goes to me, it means to be, uh, uh, be invited. Mm hmm. You know, it's his service, you know, to be invited. He says, to the wedding, and, the, and and they would not come. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, tell them which are bidden. Behold, 
I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come, come into the marriage. He says, but they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. And if you can pick up on that, it's talking about when the uh, prophets, the old prophets, they was doing the same thing out in the highways and the byways, man. And they was out there preaching to Israel. And what did Israel do? They slew them. He says, then say of he, Slakia, but when the king heard thereof, he was wroth and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burnt up their cities. It's like their city. Then saith he to his servants, the wedding is ready, but they which are bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. Oh, that's commandment, man. Then say go build us some damn church. Some damn Baptist church or some Pentecostal church or whatever. Huh. You know, Mosai gave commandment to go out on the highways and byways, man. That's right. Be it mean to marriage. Mean we out there fishing. That's right. Okay. The words of the Heavenly Father is a spiritual invitation mm -hmm. to his election. You know, or to, to the uh, to the call and to the election. Because many are called, but few are That's chosen. Right. Verse 9, he says, Go ye therefore into the highways and byways, and as many as ye shall find. No, build a church. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. See, yeah, that's some, the. Yep, some might came in, that one part elect. Con, yep. Some came in that were part of the lake. That's right. You know, the bad fruit and the good fruit. Kind. The wheat and the tears. The wheat and tears, right. So, <laughs> man, that's, that bad is those that crept in the wares, man. Kind. <laughs> he says, and the wedding was 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 uh, furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a gar a wedding garment. See, that's the dude that crept in and unawares. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he didn't get an, an invitation. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even supposed to be there. Uh, that garment represents this knowledge, man. Uh, yep. We, um, I think you read Revelation 16. We ain't got to get it. I think 16, 15. Go ahead, brother. Uh, he, uh, I can get it real quick. I believe that's what I'm going to right now and make sure that's the right one. Okay, Kai. I'll just keep on reading down. Verse 12, he says, and he said unto him, friend. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Okay, Kai, I get it. Revelations up. 16, like 15. I'm going I'm to come back to that and grab my other app up right here. Revelation 16 and 15? Yeah. Kai, this is Revelations uh, 16, verse 15. He says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Mm -hmm. Con, right. That's right, man. Yep, those gar that garment represents the knowledge. Okay, just going back to uh, um, Matthew's. 22 and verse 12. Yeah, that's the naked. Where's your garment? You naked. He was naked, man. God. <laughs> you know? Yep. He said, he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot and take him away. And cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gashing of teeth. Mm. Kind. 
He says, for many are called, but few are chosen. And, and, and that speaks for itself, man. There's only a few that's, uh, uh, there's many that are called into this, but only a few are chosen. Only a few going to make it into the kingdom of heaven, man. The Lord is sifting, even within the nation of Israel, even with the men that just in the know, you know. And if you're a man of the Lord, that's why you got to be in prayer, fasting, and ask to the Lord, you know, to, uh, you know, uh, take nigh his Holy Spirit. From you. Yeah. From you. You got to keep on pushing, man. Keep on holding on to this truth and, and try to grow in it, man. Ask the Lord to help you to grow and to be a better man, man. That's a sign you should see right there if you're going to... That's a sign of uh, you being sincere right there, praying the most high. Because a sincere person not going to want to fall out to That's truth, man. They're going to pray to the Lord to take, keep that Holy Spirit on them. That's right. That shows your sincerity right there. That's right. And that's what the Lord want, man. Because a person who ain't sincere, they ain't not going to be praying to the Lord for that. They're going to think this is a joke, man. That's right. They're not going to know what they're involved in. They're not going to count the cost. You know, most likely going to have them fool thinking that they're in the truth. God. Like they, they really serving the Lord. You're really not, man. That's right, man. He have them in derision. He mm -hmm. got them in derision, man. Mm -hmm. And that's a scary thing, man. You know, that's why these words, the word, man, you got to get into this word, man, so you can know how to talk and communicate with the Heavenly Father in truth and sincerity. Mm -hmm. That's what it's for, man. Like the brother said, the, 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 uh, uh, like the scriptures say, the, uh, the garment is a representation of, the, uh, of this wisdom and knowledge, man. Mm -hmm. And you know what the scriptures say, wisdom now should be stability at times. That's right. The strength of salvation. That's right. Mm -hmm. With that, man, uh, you got anything else? No, no. Give all praises and glory and honor and be, to you? No, one thing. Be, mm -hmm. be sincere. Make sure you examine yourself. Con. Let you know whether you're in the faith or not, man. That's right. That's right. You know, you know what your weaknesses are. Work on them weaknesses, man. That's right. So we all got them, man. You should... You should know because you examine yourself, man. That's right. And coming as the day of atonement, that's what you probably be, uh, you know, asking the most out, pretty much asking the most out for forgiveness of us, uh, our fuck ups, and then praying the most out, you know, things you need to be work, that, you know, that you need to work on yourself on. Pray the most out, uh, give you that, you know, ability to overcome whatever your weaknesses are, man. That's right, Khan. You know. Yep, that's right. Well, that's it, brother. Okay. Uh, with that, we're going to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, Rakak Kadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. Peace and salutation to all you Akim out there that's laboring in this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.